Now I'm going to style, style the read the full article one. Make it the same color red. Or actually, I'm going to make these black. Change the color to white. So you can already see how fast the process goes. If you don't like a color, you can just move it around. I'm going to save all the changes. And go over here and refresh. So there you can see it kind of come together. Now one thing I forgot to do is to change my font because I want the font in the sidebar to be courier. So I will click on, that's the wrong tab, Visual Design Editor, Widget Title, Courier. None small caps. You can also change the font size to make it a little bit bigger. To change the font in the actual content, you have to go and you make it like that. And that's how you change the font within the content. It's widget content, not widget content links. The links are just colors, and the actual content itself is how you mess around with the styling of the font. Make my background a little bit more black. So that's all that really needs done on the home page for right now. So now we're going to move on to styling a sub page. And once more, I will show you what it looks like over here. Refresh. And there you have it. So that's a home page done in maybe eight minutes. Not really timing the screencast probably should be. Now we're going to move on to pages. So I'm going to move on to the character one page, which is the most stylistic page. If you look over here, ah, it's refusing to load because it's being mean to me. There you go. So if you look over here, this is a more stylistic page. It's got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to show you how I kind of arranged this to look like that. So on the character one page, if we move everything out of the way, you can kind of see the breadcrumbs and the content here. And as you can see, it's actually missing the picture and the actual extra information. So I'm going to go to leaves, and now I'm going to resize my leaf. And I can just drag this leaf to the size that I want it to be. Disable. Now I'm going to add another leaf. I'm going to add two leaves. We're going to add an image rotator and a text leaf. Align them right. And toggle the fluid height on. Finally, I'm going to enable resize. And I'm going to drag, the image rotator automatically resizes the images you put into it. So you have to make sure it's right where you want it to be. So that seems about a fair enough size. All right. Now I'm going to disable, and you can see them kind of how they work. I'm going to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to grab this picture. Edit content. Add new image. You can put in more than one URL, obviously, by adding images, but I'm just going to use the one for this tutorial. Exit out. And to edit the title of a widget, you just click on it. So this is going to be called Extended Information for sticking to the almost biography thing. I'm going to edit this text widget so that it doesn't show the title, and I'm going to input my text, which I'm also going to steal from here. For time's sake. I wrote all this in by hand, so if you really want to get picky about it, you can do that yourself. Can add some HTML code. Probably just gonna delete all this stuff. It's not really important for the time. So now we're gonna go to character one. Give it a second to load, and there you go. You can see kind of how that worked, except that this needs to be toggled under miscellaneous show title, and then save. And it will 
give you the extended information title. Now you notice that this title is not the same as the style I just did for the other title. That's because leaf titles and widget titles are styled separately. So I'm going to get my background color. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. There you go. I'm going to get my background color, copy it, click on the title, bottom border, and change the color to black. And there you go. Now it's styled just like your other titles. Save changes. And you can see over here on the live site, it appears. Yeah. Now the last thing I want to do on this page is the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to move all this out of the way so I can see it. Move this up so I can see all the options. And style the breadcrumbs. I'm going to move this into the red area because that's where I'm working with. And make it just kind of brown. Brown, just kind of red. Next I'm going to click on my active navigation item for my background color. And I'm going to click on the link and change it. Finally I'm going to click on the text and make it lighter. And there you go, that's pretty much how you style the breadcrumbs. Change it to courier. I don't like courier, so I'm going to change it to Arial, like the content. And page titles are different from post titles, so you're going to have to change that one too. Change mine to courier. And make the font size bigger. And make it black. Yeah. This is not really working out too well, but uh, hit save changes. As you can see, there was kind of a glitch there. And there you go. There's the extended information page for my characters. So the last thing I want to do to finish up my little minimalist design is to style a comment. So I'm going to go to Hello World. Now you can see that this is not a hyperlink, so it looks a little bit ugly right now without all of the stylings and with the missing widget panel. So we're going to fix that by going to single post. Switch the layout. Loading, loading. Now that it's loaded, I'm going to click on the title. I'm going to make it black. Save my changes because I can't move that window anymore and refresh. So you can see it's turned black. It's a little bit more attractive now. I actually went to the wrong post, so I'm going <laughs> to jump on over to loop some instead. All right, now to fix the no widgets thing, you can add widgets to this using the dashboard or if you want to copy it like I do, you can type in sidebar ID 2. 2 is the default sidebar that Headway generates when you start up the blog. So that will, co that will copy the main page sidebars. So that's pretty much it. That's how you style Headway. That's how I managed to get this blog done. And just kind of a run through of the visual design editor. So yeah, and don't forget to save your changes when you're done. And I'll check you out on headwayhacks.com. Later.